Hey guys, it's Jamie. And Shaba. And we have a special friend with us today, Cobb. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, Jamie and I went to the uni and we did a sort of guest Q&A session in a human sexuality lecture. And the students wrote down some really good questions actually. But there were too many to answer in the class, so we thought we'd answer the rest in a video. And because there were some really good questions, uh, we thought we'd share it with everybody. Cue Cobb with the questions. I want to do that bit. Cue Cobb with the questions. So, question one. How long did it take for the testosterone to take effect, for you to grow a full beard, and was exercise an important factor? There were some changes, there were some things that happened within the first few weeks, like my skin got more oily, uh, my appetite increased, but in terms of physical changes or quite noticeable ones, it took three or four months for my voice to drop properly, um, and even longer for like my body shape to change and other stuff like that to happen. It took ages for Jamie to get a beard. Thank you. <laughs> it took ages for me to get a beard, yes. It started coming in as like face fluff around two and a half years. But he was um, convinced he had a full beard by that point. In fact, we need to shout off to everybody and everyone. Yes. <laughs> well, look, I have a new hair. Um, but it was around the three years on T Mark before it really started to become noticeable. And let's be honest, you don't exercise at all. Have the dynamics of your relationship changed since the transition? They changed in the sense that we went from best friends to boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes. But I don't know. They changed more than you would think that a long term relationship would anyway. No. Nope. Yeah. Are you fully transitioned? I would say no, but I don't really know what fully transitioned is. I don't know if anybody ever is fully transitioned. Some people don't feel the need to medically transition at all. Other people don't feel like they're fully transitioned to the point that they want to be until after they've had everything, including bottom surgery. So it differs um, for everyone. Yeah, it differs for everyone. Yeah. Do you feel 100% comfortable in your body now? Um, not 100%, but I think most of the stuff that I'm uncomfortable with is nothing to do with being trans. I'm just ridiculously skinny, and that's that's the only thing that makes me feel like comfortable enough. Much the same with anybody, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Was there any point in your transition that you had second thoughts? No. How long does it take, generally, to get the re gender reassignment surgery? Quite a long time. So, in the UK, if you're on the NHS, it takes how long for testosterone? Oh, I don't know exactly, but like Four one to two years, I think. And then from that, how long to get surgery? Another year or so. Having been on T, if you're private, it takes how long to get on T? Again, depends where you go. For me, it was four months. And then to get surgery after T? Six months for top surgery, and I think it's a year for other surgery. Yeah. On a scale of one to 100, how scary was the whole process? Scary? Uh, that is a big range, 1 to 100, 100. so percent. Well, to percent. be more precise then, okay, let's go with how scary was the surgery for you? Scary, I'd say like a 20 out of 100 because I wasn't actually that scared, there was a little bit of nerves but no fear. But How about yeah. when you came out and sought like medical... Coming out. Socially transitioning. Socially transitioning, and coming out, yeah, yeah, and telling people was the, <laughs> that's the scariest bit. I'd say that's sort of like when you're about to come out to somebody that's like up to 70, 80 out of 100. Um, but it's like actually started medically transitioning is like nothing because that's just excitement. <laughs> yeah. Did taking testosterone change how you feel? I do cry less and I would say my temper's a bit shorter, a bit quicker. Um, I know it sounds really cliche and stereotypical, but these are genuine things that I've noticed that you've noticed. Do you intend to have the full surgery to become a man? Uh, there is no surgery to become a man. Um, and whether you have one surgery, no surgeries, every surgery you can get, you are still a man if that's what you identify as. Um, but I'm guessing whoever asked that question was meaning do I intend on getting bottom surgery? And I would say yes, it's something I'm thinking about. I'm just highlighting that it's not a very, it's, it's not the best way to phrase not the, the best question, way of phrasing. Yeah. I know your family was supportive. How did your friends and those around you take it? In terms of friends, friends are really supportive. We have one here. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, friends were fine. Um, Except for a few not so close friends. Yeah, like, you know, the acquaintance type people. There's obviously like the whispering, it wasn't much of a challenge, I just ignored it. 
but the biggest challenge I faced was with your family, uh, which is getting much better now. We and we made a video about we can just refer to so many different oh videos. Oh my god, it's shameless just be plugging. Like a plugging this whole thing. Um, See updated happiness here. <laughs> Do male to female trans people often want children? That will vary just as much as it would amongst any If you are a person. cis woman. Yeah. Or anyone. Yeah. If you were interested in girls before, have you ever felt that you were a lesbian? Yes, for a short time before I came out as trans, I did identify as a lesbian. In regards to trans men that have bottom surgery, uh, would, woman, would a woman know the difference? Or a man. I. Or a man, yeah. Very I, good point. I don't know. No idea. It would depend on a lot of factors. And can they have children? Uh, are, are they fertile? No. no, not in the traditional sense. Yeah. Have you had any threats from transphobes or religious people? One in real life from someone we know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then a few online, just comments on YouTube videos, messages on Tumblr, like that kind of thing. Do you tell people? I don't go around being like, you know, hi, I'm Jamie, I'm trans. Hey. Um, <laughs> So it's not something I kind of like shout about, but then obviously with the videos and everything, it's, it's not, not something that definitely you not something I hide. Do you feel nervous talking about it? And a little <laughs> comment on the bottom. Don't worry, we really want to hear what you have to say. My face. Oh. <laughs> no, not really. I used to find it really difficult, even though I'm perfectly comfortable with being trans. I found it difficult to actually say the words I am transgender, but not anymore. And it's something I'm perfectly comfortable and happy to speak about. So aside from the obvious um, being able to have sex um, with the correct genitals, etc. Uh, is it possible for trans people to have babies or menstrual cycles, etc.? Um, trans guys can carry babies and have babies and have periods as well. It depends on their own fertility and testosterone, whether they've had a hysterectomy. It, it would depend on the person. Taking testosterone does generally stop periods though. Yes. Yeah. How do you go about paying for surgery? So you could do this in two ways, um, in the UK anyway. The first is through the NHS, in which case it's free because it's sort of like public health care, but obviously you pay for it through taxes and stuff. And the second type is privately. That it costs you money. Um, and, and you can source that anywhere. Quite yeah, a lot it of vary people. on the person, sort of like fundraising campaigns. That's what I was going to say, like GoFundMe campaigns. Extra jobs, saving up, um, personal savings, savings, which is what I did. Yeah, um, yeah there's lots of ways. Are you attracted to females or males? Females. Done. <laughs> the last person uh, with some wonderful writing. Seriously though, this writing is amazing. How did you know you were transgender and wanted to take the next step, step to transitioning? As in, you knew it was more than simply having a preference for more male clothes or haircuts, etc. I watched a documentary on Channel 4 when I was about 16 and just a lot of the stuff like kind of correlated with how I was feeling so I looked into it a bit more and just it just made so much sense. And I guess that goes hand in hand with sort of like a common confusion between people who just go, oh, why can't you just be a lesbian and, you know, dress in really butch lesbian clothing? Why do you feel the need to, you know, be trans? And um, I suppose the important point to make is that gender expression is very different to gender identity. So that's everything. I uh, hope you found the answers somewhat helpful in some way, maybe? Yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> These are all genuine things that have been said to me either online or in person and it's just to show that they're not always as Oh my god, I would so date you. It's a shame you don't have a penis. Complimentary as they're meant to be.